right then, in this video, I'll take a detailed look at a 1970s Platt Schindler. Yes! This is a set of two 70s Platt Schindlers. They are totally awesome. They go two meters a second and have intelligent leveling. Now, this is the oldest lift I've ever come across to have intelligent leveling. Totally epic. Now, these are entirely relay controlled. They have not been modernized one bit. So the entire logic is relay logic. And this is not like your simple little relay logic lift. These are really complex. There are two lifts here. And when you press button on the outside, it has to choose between which lift serves the call. So it looks at how many floors each lift has, which way they're moving. And when the lift's ready to move, it has to work out which floor it goes to next in the most efficient way possible. And it does this entirely with relays. Now, this is stretching the limits of what you can do with relay logic. This is extremely advanced for a time under some of the most amazing amazing lifts you can get out of relays. Totally epic. Now, relay lift choosers are becoming incredibly rare. Now, this is because modern day lift engineers don't really know that much about relays and they can probably maintain like a simple relay lift, but these are made out of loads of relays. It's like beyond their understanding how to maintain them and stupid genetic lift companies just say, oh, go and modernize it because they're a load of idiots. There's so many relays in this. I mean, just to control the lifts, there'll be like some relays, but to actually work out the actual lift chooser, work out how to move the lifts efficiently, has so many relays in it. It's like a relay computer working out logic, which lift's most efficient. It's so complex and so many relays. When one of those relays goes wrong, and these lifts here, like a lot of lifts like this I've come across, actually do have some failed relays. Firstly, the lift on the right does not work at all, and it's a sign up about this, and I'll come to this later. The lift on the left does have at least one failed relay because it does the typical behavior of a lift with a failed relay, which is it keeps stopping at floors at random so you press to go to a floor and quite often it'll just stop randomly at a floor en route even though no one's pressed call the lift i haven't pressed what floor it is and that's just a sign of failed relays make it do weird things but the thing is when a relay fails which is not a vital relay to make the lift work quite often it's just ignored because they can't track down exactly what's gone wrong and since the lift still works they just ignore the fact that something's not quite right with it now to sign up on the community notice board and set off flat saying that the controllers in these lifts are going to be replaced which is very sad and disappointing they say this is because that schindler stopped supplying spare parts for it now i don't know what particular a bit of spare parts is for but i reckon this is something more to do with the mechanical logic device than just the relays because relays are pretty easy to get really but a lot of these old relay lifts also have a mechanical device in them not just relays like pure relay logic it uses mechanical logic now mechanical logic is where you have a mechanical thing when the lift moves a mechanical thing moves around this is the floor selector and other lifts have other examples of mechanical things now mechanical logic devices are extremely custom they are just nothing quite like it you cannot like go and get a spare part from somebody because literally different companies will make them completely independently these are unique unique to the manufacturer or even the type of lift but it is hard to maintain them. I mean, the only way you could get these working again is, is if you had someone with a passion for keeping these lifts going such as myself but genetic lift companies persuade them to modernize it and it's just oh disgusting so these lifts are planned to have their logic replaced which is very disappointing hopefully nothing else will be replaced but anyway here's a view of a motor room which i can get because there's a glass window in the motor room door which is nice but sadly motor room door is locked and let's just listen to the ticking of the relay Now, let's take a ride in this awesome lift. These lifts have intelligent levelling. Now, I'm not sure if this is like pure intelligent levelling. I can't see as it is because it's relay control. But it's more like loads of very small levelling steps. But it goes on to the next levelling stage as soon as it gets to the last one. So it gives the impression of intelligent levelling because it actually slows down all the way from full speed all the way to stopped in one clean go because it never actually coasts at any particular levelling stage. Totally awesome. Let's ride it.
live surfing time. And best of all, these have an epically fast inspection speed. Three quarters of a meter a second. That's actually slightly faster than what hydraulic lifts go. But I've never seen an inspection speed this fast before. I think it's even ever so slightly faster than the Arona. Oh, wow, I did not expect that. And as well as that, you don't have to break safety when putting it back onto automatic. You just switch your switch and it whizzes off. Firstly, check it. Inspection works by opening up and just like 90 shillings, the two doors are separate. You open one up with trying key and I think the trying key is retrofitted into the door so it wouldn't be trying to keep on when these lifts are built. And only one of the door slides open rather than both of them because they're not actually joined up. So then put a lift on to inspection, shut the door so we can verify inspection works and the outside call button still lights up which is quite weird. It's like the lift chooser cannot actually see it. Both lifts are out of service so there's no point taking calls. Anyway, let's surf it.